Hi, now a lot of you have seen my DVD, there it is, but on it wasn't black on black. Now this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to photograph a black subject on a black background. Now this is the subject we're going to be shooting. Now this is really jet black. Blacker than this you will not get. In fact, if the background was as black as this, you wouldn't see it. That way we can produce one of those pictures that you see in a top auction house catalogue. And maybe a lot of you do that type of work, so you might be interested. Um, so there it is. I'm thinking about it, this is probably in a boot sale catalogue. Yes. Anyway, let's get on. We'll go over to the studio and I'll show you how to shoot this. Here we've got the subject in roughly in place. Now, the important thing is when we're placing it is to make sure we can see what we want to see, obviously. And that's between the legs. We get it all nicely set. But you can see at the moment, we've got our famous background, of course, that we're going to brush in the right direction once the light is set. Because no point in doing it now because we might change the position of the light. So we get it in the angle we want, and then we think about direction of light. Well, in my opinion, it's got to be lit from this side. So I'll bring my first light in, a little closer than it is now, to try and light this part. And that's how I'm going to start. Then I'm going to try and light the back, bring it back from here. And I think that way we'll be able to separate it from the background that you can see at the moment. It's not if I lean back a bit that we don't, we don't see it against that background. So let's get on and we'll make it look really nice. Now I'm going to start with just tracing paper. I'm going to bring it in so it'll create a nice soft light. Now don't forget what I can do is double up the tracing paper if I want it even softer. So I bring that in very nicely like that. Now, because a lot of you don't have expensive flash, etc., I'm going to do this with just a garage light. So a garage inspection light. They cost about, what, £10? What's that in dollars? 15, 15, 16, and about €12. Euro. So they're not expensive, and they're very good. You can do all sorts of things with them. They're very, very efficient and they make a very nice light. Now the next thing I want to do is to create this white line to separate it from the background. I can do that very easily with just a white piece of card. Now, if I bring that in, you'll be able to see from the other camera, camera angle, um, and I can adjust that as I want. Now the, the important thing to know with this, or realize with this, is that it's, there's no recipe. There is no recipe to it at all. There are no rules. It's up to your personal eye and my personal eye what I like. And that's what photography is all about. And that's what really, really separates the good photographers. So I have to choose where I want it to show the, show the product to its best advantage. When I have set the, the nice line there, I rather like that, but I want to bring some light in that's going to light this area, show the muscles on the cat. So I'm going to bring in a piece of white card. And if I bring in a piece of white card, you'll see that it'll pick up all the little pieces on the sculpture. If I bring in it very closely, of course, it will be in the image. Now I've got the choice. The advantage of bringing it in very close is that I light this reflection all the way down to the bottom. But I have the, the choice now of retouching the background or leaving it out of the picture like that. Now, in this case, I think I prefer it out of the picture. Once again, we're going to have to place that very carefully, which I'm going to have to do without it being on camera. Now, I love mirrors. But by bringing in a mirror, I can do all sorts of things with a mirror, and if I turn it around the other way, of course, I've got another choice. But all that's down to choice, and I'm going to choose a very small mirror that is, in fact, off an old camera, because there I can place a tiny mirror, just putting a little bit of light where I want it. And I think that's going to help a lot. We don't want to overpower it. 
just trying to pick out little muscles, etc. So I'll have to set that in place now. A lot of you will have noticed, or I hope you've noticed, that we've got a line on the background. Now that's very simply that it's light coming round the tracing paper. Uh, oh, what, a lot of people have asked where they can get this. Well, I hate to plug my website, but you can get it on there. Um, we're going to solve that by bringing in a piece of polystyrene that's painted black on one side. And that's just going to allow me to shade the light on the background. Now we've got a few things that need doing, but one is to clean the product. Now if we clean the product, we have to get it blocked nicely. And we find things that will block it very nicely indeed. So we can move it and we can take it out, clean it and put it back in exactly the same place. The reason is that we've adjusted all our little reflectors to a, to a level where the slightest change can make a difference to those reflections. So pay a lot of attention to this. Now, of course, what we have to do is brush the background in the right direction. So we do that when we're cleaning the product. We're going to take the product away and for cleaning. But there's one very important other thing we have to do and that's cut the light. You see what's happening? We have to cut the light and we'll do that by putting in a card. And we'll put in a card that will shadow the lens and that will increase our contrast. It's very important when working on black to do that. Well, there we are. It only leaves to expose it. Now, I'm using the self-timer because it's a long exposure. We don't want anything to move. So any minute now, it should go... <laughs> now, this is what it looks like out of the camera. I think it's good. I Obviously, you can go on and on and add little mirrors here, little mirrors there, but I have to keep the video to seven minutes, but I think it's a nice result. But it does show that the velvet gives you a nice black on black. Well, I hope you, that you enjoyed it and I hope it's going to help you. Now, there's one thing I would say. We all spend a lot of money on equipment. There's one thing we neglect. It's the things that help us. We spend a lot of money on lenses, a lot of money on cameras. You'll notice that I've used retort stands. Those retort stands, they're not that expensive. They're not cheap, but they're not that expensive. They're about £24, £25 each. You'll benefit enormously by buying some, and a lot of people have told me they don't know where to get them. Very simple. McCordle.com. Got them on the shop. Cheers. Goodbye.